is up ladies and gentlemen this is jeff benjamin with i download blog i have my ipod touch fifth generation here it is running ios 8.2 as you see there uh, this is the latest beta version of ios 8 um, 8.2 is non jailbreakable so uh, what we need to do if, if i want to jailbreak this device i need to downgrade back to a jailbreakable firmware the jailbreakable firmware that is now being signed ios 8.1 uh, will allow me to do that. Now, the first thing you need to do when you want to downgrade is to make sure that Apple is signing the firmware that you want to downgrade to. Otherwise, it won't work. So to do that, I use this website, ipsw.me, and then all you do is you select your device. Uh, in this case, I'm running an iPod Touch 5th generation. So I'm just going to choose iPod Touch 5, and then choose the firmware list here. And you can see there's two firmwares being signed. iOS 8.1.1, which is the latest public firmware, that is non-jailbreakable as well. And then you have iOS 8.1, that is jailbreakable. And you can see it's in green, meaning yes, it is still being signed. So I can, if I hurry, I can go ahead and downgrade to iOS 8.1. So that's a very good sign. Uh, that is what we need to do. Uh, we need to check that to make sure that the uh, firmware is being signed. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to downgrade. So just do that first. Now, the next thing you need to do is go out over to our downloads page on the iDownload blog and download the latest iOS firmware for your device. So in this case, the iPod uh, firmware, the 8.1 right here, you need to go ahead and just down, download that. That is the latest jailbreakable firmware for your device that we just saw was being signed. So you download that, download it onto your desktop, and then you're ready to get started. So make sure your device is plugged into your computer and then just fire up iTunes and then you can just click on your device here and, and now you'll see your device information you see it's running iOS 8.2 now all you need to do is hold the option key on your keyboard if you're running a, a Mac or hold the win the uh, shift key if you're running Windows and then click check for update uh, like that and now you see right there uh, it's pointed to my beta but I need to go and find the the iOS 8.1 firmware uh, that we downloaded onto our desktop. So I'm just going to put in, um, let's see, uh, iPod iOS 8.1. Uh, let's see if I can find it there on this Mac. And there we go. So that's on my desktop. Um, you can see desktop iOS uh, 8.1 for the iPod Touch 5th generation. So you just wanna save that download of the uh, firmware to your desktop, just point it to your desktop and then open it, click open. And it says iTunes will update your iPod to iOS 8.1. Uh, so you just click update. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now it's extracting the software. Um, and once it verifies everything, uh, assuming that Apple hasn't closed the signing window as we, we're doing this, we should be good. So uh, once it, goes through here uh, if you don't get any error messages then you're good to go um, we are good to go it is uh, restoring right now as you see there super simple uh, method of downgrading uh, as long as obviously Apple is still signing that firmware that really is the key uh, downgrading is super easy uh, all you have to do is hold the option key click on check for update point it to your firmware and then click open and that's pretty much all there is to it super simple um, if you want to just do a clean restore say you didn't want to update you want to just to completely just trash everything on your device you can click uh, hold the option key and click the restore button instead uh, if you don't want to do an update I, I like to do the update which is actually a downgrade it was kind of weird weird language there um, but yeah it works as you'll see here so we just need to wait for this device to restore uh, we'll do that and then I'll show you that I'm running iOS 8.1 so I'll just speed this up for you guys so you can see it uh, in a reasonable time. Okay, so here we are. We're back to iOS 8.1, which is jailbreakable, of course. Uh, general about iOS 8.1. And then I can, of course, run my favorite jailbreak tweaks uh, once I jailbreak using Pongu 8. So that is how you downgrade from iOS 8.1.1 or iOS 8.2 for that matter. If you want to downgrade from iOS 8.2 beta, you can do so easily uh, as long as Apple is still signing the firmware. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.